Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to recycle stretcher bars. I'm using an old canvas which I painted about three years ago and I'm going to remove the um, staples and reassemble it. Here is the assembled stretcher. I have removed the corner wedges and reassembled the stretcher bars so that they are ready for the canvas. I've cut a piece of canvas to size with a good overlap all the way around. You'll see in the following video how I've had to cut it down. I'm going to centre the frame on the canvas. And then pin the opposite sides, making sure that it's straight on the grain of the linen. On all four sides, stretching it as I go. This piece will have to be cut before I staple it. Next I should put two more staples on each side, stretching it as I go. Final stretching will happen when I put the wedges in the corners. I'm cutting the canvas to size and leaving a little overlap. This one is a little bit too wide. Lastly, this is only a little bit too wide. I'm cutting the canvas to I want the fold on the long side so that when it's vertical it's going to be down this side so I'm taking the long side and I'm going to staple right up to the corner now I've cut a corner at the wedge to fold it down there, in there, and then pull it up and over, and that's not quite flat. Staple it. 
in place. Here is the assembled canvas ready to be painted with gesso, acrylic, primer gesso. This is a stiff old brush, it's been used a lot of times. I'm going to put two coats of gesso. It's usually, I usually find this enough. I think I use it fairly thickly. And I haven't diluted it with water, which sometimes people do. Okay. I hope you can see my arms are in the way and I'm lifting it up as well. Anyway, that's the edges done. Put it back down and do around the sides, the back of it, but not all the back, just as far as the staples. See, I'm protecting my table with newspaper. I balance the canvas on the corks so it's free of the newspaper. It's a messy job, so you just have to accept that and wash it off afterwards. And here we go, I'm just putting first coat on the face of it. I'm using uh, Michael Harding's acrylic primer. I'm finding a pot may only do four canvases. I do a lot of big canvases bigger than this. It would do more of this size. 
and it's a litre pot. They do come in half litres. So I've covered the canvas and what I'm going to do now is go back and forth across it to make sure it's smooth. Because I paint quite thickly in pasta, I'm not after a hugely smooth canvas. another canvas to do so I'm going to ready to leave to dry and that will take about eight hours then I can put another coat on. Here you can see that I've hammered wedges into the corners of the stretcher and there, there are the, the wedges. This stretches the whole canvas. I have applied turps and burnt sienna to the finished canvas using a piece of cotton cloth, a large piece of cotton cloth, lots of terps and spreading the, the burnt sienna thinly across the canvas to give this a tint. I've done the sides of the canvas as well as the base. 